I don't want to repeat that. I'm trying. We're coming at always the same insight, the same pattern through different ways. So we're, we're talking about how McLuhan described the effect of the uh, computerized satellite environment on economics just before the digital environment comes in. It's sneaking up on people. But he is actually talking with his emphasis on futures on what's going to be called derivatives later. Right, right. And so he said, as long as there's an interval of play, he's going to try to further describe this tactile interval. As long as there's an interval of play between the wheel and the axle, there is a rotary action. It is the interval of play that keeps the wheel and axle in touch. So if you have the wheel and axle actually really stay, st stay in touch, they seize up and the car stops. Right. There has to be this gap of interplay between the wheel and the axle, and, and emptiness. You can see in physics, they're now saying that the universe is made up of dark energy, dark matter. They're just tuning into the gap inside matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Inside the old Newtonian view of connected matter. Like when you look at, take a chemistry course, you see the little molecules and they have little lines during the carbon and the uh, hydrogen right. molecules, right? right? Those, that's the interplay gap? Well, that is the old Newtonian version of the gap. They think the two molecules are connected. They're not connected. They're rubbing against each other. And it was Linus Pauling, the Nobel Peace Prize and Science Prize winner. He, in 1939, pointed out that the bond in chemistry now is not the connection, but the resonant interval. And so McLuhan always appreciated Linus Pauling at least speaking up on the science world of what the change was that was coming in in the, in the new quantum mechanics. So remember, McLuhan is kind of applying quantum mechanics, not Newtonian mechanics, to the economy. Like Adam Very, Smith applied yeah. Newtonian mechanics to the economic scene and created that rationality and balance, supply and demand. But that's not the case when you have software. So McLuhan says this interval of play between the wheel and axle, the gap or interval is, quote, where the action is. This fact has gained special attention from the new physics, and it is in the very opening of The Nature of the Chemical Bond, a book by Linus Pauling, that he explains there are no connections in matter. The development of the theory of quantum mechanics has also introduced into chemical theory a new concept, that of resonance, and it is our resonant interval. So what Pauling is the, guy, is the scientist who kind of popularizes the idea of resonance. Then McLuhan says, what is most relevant here to the nature of inflation may perhaps be seen from the way in which the gap or interval in things creates the mentality of the, of the gambler. And he quotes a poem. The gambler either fears his fate too much, think of the idea that there's end times in religion, right. or his desserts are small. In other words, I'm not getting enough for what I'm doing. McLuhan's principles of the crowd, as it gets more enhanced by electric media, begins to think it's smaller. It's paranoid. Right, paranoid, right. Right, so the gambler fears his fate too much or his desserts are small. He fears to put it to the touch, to win or lose it all. He actually gets in the panic state and says, well, it's really coming down, so I'm going to gamble it all. He fears to put it to the touch. It's like complimentary. He's, he's panicked. He's afraid, but he's going to do it. He's going to put it all to win or lose. So, oh my God. <laughs> 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 ah, I see where you're going with it. Okay.